Morning everyone, welcome back, Simply Snuff Time, Sunday morning, what time is it lad? Half past ten, I haven't been up long, we're out with lads yesterday, had a rake of ale, Barnsley bitter, and then a curry, splendid, staggered in home. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs M was impressed <laughs> that she's used to it by now. Anyway, I had a lovely time. Got up this morning, eight o'clock. Oh, just about to open my eyes, I thought, here we go, here we go. But I were alright. Didn't feel too bad at all, actually. I don't know how many I'd had. Actually, I went up Barnsley a bit and then I had a couple of glasses of red wine, a nice, uh, a nice uh, Merlot. And it was rather lovely. And uh, yeah, enjoyed it, we're a good day. So I've got this Toke uh, Crazy George to review today. Uh, Sean at Grey Day Snuff sent me this. Thanks, Sean. Uh, it's from Toke, it's a 10 gram tin and it costs £1.89, which sounds, um, yes, uh, very affordable uh, to me. Um, I've been waiting to review it, but uh, I was going to review it earlier the week, but I've been working for four days. Digging in a uh, septic tank. Excuse me, I've dropped my snuff paddle. I'll get it, here we are. Sorry, we got it, got it. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, if I knew what I were doing, that'd be lethal, me. <laughs> and it's freezing today. If you're wondering why I've got this silly hat on, it's because it's, it's bloody freezing. Anyway, uh, yeah, we're digging in a yeah, septic tank. Honestly, I got home. I got home on Wednesday. My legs and my muscles and that were they were abs. Oh, honestly, I was in pain. I said to Mrs M, "Can you give me a rub down? Can you give me a rub down, love? I'm a bit, you know, it's a bit of pain and all." Oh. She won't have it. <laughs> I said, "You know, quite tender. Can you? Can you get no?" She says, "She says take a couple of paracetamols and bug it off to bed for an hour." <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic, eh? Anyway, that's my life as I keep saying. So, uh, what have I said so far? Talk crazy, George. I made a couple of notes. Uh, it's a limited edition, but it's they've been it's been on the Talk website for about over eight years. But I think the limited edition is the fact that it's a mix of snobs, maybe. Some say bin ends, bits of stuff they've got left over, but you know, I, I'm not sure it's quite like that. I, I don't know, maybe it is, maybe it isn't, who knows. Um, but it's another snuff, it's another snuff to try, and as I, I think I said, uh, Sean at Grade A Snuff sent me it, so we'll give it, uh, we'll give it a go. I think, I think, I'm thinking of it as a bit, you know, when we were kids and it was a bit of a lucky bag. You used to buy lucky bags when you were a kid, and you were never sure what you were going to get in the bag. Well, I think this one's a little bit like that. I think that's what it's all about. As ever with uh, the top uh, snuffs, it's really well packed. It's a nice tin, nice label, fantastic. Works really well, absolutely. I'm getting a bit of sweetness coming off it, a bit of fruit coming off it. I'm also getting something that I'm not sure, but I think it's a bit of wintergreen. And as you know, I'm not awfully keen on wintergreen. It's not my my choice, but you know, there's lots lots on offer in here. It's very difficult to pick them out, but I'd say, yeah, there's a bit of fruit in it. I'm not sure I'm getting any menthol out of it at all, but I'll know when I have a bump of it. Definitely, definitely getting some winter green in there. Yeah, fruity. It's 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 it smells quite mild. It's a nice light brown colour. It looks like all the other uh, toke snuffs. Uh, it's that nice uh, shiny oil finish. It clumps really well. It looks like a fine grind. It's got plenty of moisture in it. I'm gonna have a pinch. I think I've got my snuff pedal, but it's been off floor. Who knows what's been off floor? <laughs> Me a few times. <laughs> <laughs> Not last night though. Yeah, I'm getting I'm getting a fruity scent. Quite sweet. It's got a little pinch to it. I can't honestly tell you I'm getting any menthol in that at all. It's got a little burn on it, but not much. I'd say that's definitely got winter green in it. I'm not sure what else. Oh, dropped it again. There you go. All of it shop. I do this every time. I can't believe it. Yeah, it's nice enough. 
Is it crazy? No, it's not crazy. I don't know where Crazy George comes from, I can guess, but... I don't know what the connection is. It's alright. It's nice enough. It's harmless. It's not a big punch in, you know, it's not... It's easy peasy, it's a little bit tame, it's not a big hitter. It's not blazing with vitamin N. Vitamin N's okay. Mm. The base flower's all right. It just lacks a bit of punch. It just lacks a bit of... It, it's a good everyday snuff. But again, people ask me and they say, you know, what's, what'd be good to start with if I'm going to have a snuff and, uh, you know, it's uh, something for me to start with and, and start and work into things easily. This would probably do just fine and dandy, I think. Yeah, it'd probably be good. Why not? Why not indeed? I'm taking plenty here, so it's blowing all over. I hope you can hear me. I hate it when the wind blows and it ruins all the sound on it. But honestly, I've been waiting to, to film this for four or five days so it's gonna have to do I just hope it works when it's all done we'll see so yeah yeah it's all right it's all right it's not bad it's not my favorite will I will I take the rest of the tin yes definitely will I buy it again probably not no it just likes definition for me I like something that's got you know a real character about it you know you know what you're getting involved in if it's a menthol if it's your schmalzler you know, if it's a big hitter, if it's a big vitamin A, and if it's, you know, I like that stuff. So that's what, you know, I was, I was reviewing some of the Bernard snuffs recently. Really enjoyed them. You know, I, I absolutely, you know, love, I, 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 I do like a stronger snuff. There's no doubt about it. These fruit snuffs, honey snuffs, sweet snuffs, um, are really not my cup of tea. That doesn't mean to say they're bad snuffs. Lots of people are like them. They're just not my cup of tea. But I would put this one in that bracket. You get that fruity, you get that scent. You get a bit of that wintergreen, which is a bit, uh, you know what you know, wintergreen smells like. Uh, but I'd say this smells mostly a sweet, so fruity type snuff to me. No menthol in it at all, and I like menthols in my snuff. Um, that's it really, mates. Uh, what more can I say? Uh, Toke, Crazy George, is it okay? Yeah, is it great? Uh, mm, not sure. Anyway, give it a try. It's cheap enough to buy, you can get it from Toke, it's 189 for a 10 gram tin, it's definitely worth a try. That's it, thanks for watching guys. Oh, by the way, I've got loads, I've got, hopefully I've got two exclusive reviews coming up of snuffs that nobody has reviewed before. Nobody, nobody has reviewed them before. I'm really, fingers crossed, I post everything up, I post on, uh, mainly on my YouTube community channel now, so if you want updates on what's going on, what I'm reviewing, what I'm looking at, uh, all of that type of stuff, I put it mainly on the YouTube community channel. I have a couple of polls on there in terms of which snuffs I should be reviewing next, so if you get a chance, have a look-see, uh, if you subscribe and all of that, it'll ping up. Uh, it's worth a look. What you got to lose? Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time. Keep well. Chin-chin.